Oh yeah! I've made us a nice roast. I couldn't get all the ingredients that I needed, so I had to improvise a little bit. I, I hope everyone's okay with that. What a sack, Daddy! It's roast dinner beer. You bet with something good for pudding. Jam roly poly? Bloody ungrateful family. I don't know. Welcome to the beer review of me, Jake. So today we're drinking a beer from Northern Monk, brewed in collaboration with, could you Adam and Eve it, Aunt Bessie's. It's their Sunday dinner, roast dinner, brown ale, coming at 5.7%. Yeah, so this is one of those crazy occurrences in craft beer where a sort of mainstream company does something quite weird with a, with a very good brewery. And I'm, I'm all about weird. I'm all about weird on this channel. So when I saw this, I know it's a gimmick. I know it's silly, but I had to give it a go. It says, for our main course collaboration, we bring you a roast dinner brown ale that's brewed with actual Aunt Bessie's puds and roasties. Yeah, so the ingredients, malt barley, gluten, oats, maltodextrin, Yorkshire puddings, potatoes, salt, hops, and yeast. And also it says, you know, an addition, a stick-on addition later, contains seaweed, so I don't know if that's to give it sort of an extra little umami kick or, or something like that, but yeah, let, let's give this a go, shall we? Come on, it's got roast potatoes and bloody Yorkshire puddings in it, for crying out loud. Incidentally, Yorkshire puddings, in my neck of the woods, are often referred to as batter puddings. I know that might annoy a, 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 a certain uh, Yorkshireman, but that's just how it is. Yeah, it is a slight, hazy, chestnutty coloured beer with some sort of very, very beige looking head to it. And of course, Yorkshire puddings and roast potatoes, very beige looking food. So let's see what this has on the aroma. I didn't even really even think of a brown ale. For me, it's got something of, of a traditional, traditional bitter. Got something a little bit metallic going on with it. And I don't know if it's sort of being implied in my head because of the look of the beer, the, the, the label and, and what's in it. But for me, I'm getting a sort of a gravy granules vibe to it. And I th the only thing I can think that is is because of the extra addition of the salt in there. But, but to me, it smells a bit like a sort of a, a traditional English bitter. But let's go for a taste. Cheers. I mean, I didn't think it was going to. But I can't particularly pick up. Any of the potato, any of the of the back pudding. This is a beer. It doesn't taste like... Yorkshire puddings. It, 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 it's got the uber traditional feel. It's, it's reminding me of like Southwell beer or something like that. Tastes nice. It's perfectly well made beer. Oh, actually, now, actually, the more I'm talking, I'm starting to get a bit of a savoury edge to it now. Oh, yeah, sort of leaving my, my tongue a bit chalky. The savoury and the salty flavours are really coming through now. It's sort of drying my mouth. Now that's made it a little bit more interesting at least. I mean, I'm not getting any potato or, or Yorkshire pudding. But I suppose they're quite hard sort of adjuncts to get to impart any real flavor into the beer. So it's a bizarre beer. It's a weird beer. I don't dislike it. Probably wouldn't bother picking up again if they continue to do, continue to do it, but it might just be a one-off. So that was everything from Northern Monk's Aunt Bessie's collaboration. Sunday dinner, coming in at 5.7%. <laughs> I'm a Jake. Let me know your thoughts on these gimmicky beers. What what what, what do you think about them? Are you more of a traditionalist or do you like so sometimes when brews go weird and wacky with it in the comments below? I'm a Jake. Remember to like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.